Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X6. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre 40D X Drive. 2013 on a 13 plate, has done 74,132 miles, 0 to 60 time 6.5 seconds, a top speed of 147 miles per hour out of a 306 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Anyway, on the way up here, I heard a, a record and it said, uh, your face ain't spoiled by beauty. What can I say? I, um, I know a lot of people like the look of them, but uh, I think I used to, but for some reason I've gone off them. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> the good thing is the older BMWs look a lot better than the new ones. We've got the BMW kidney shaped grille, which is now transformed into a Star Wars X fighter or something. Um, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors. So we have the matte black um, kind of, what, five double spoke alloys. Quite a nice design to, to be fair. The 40D badges there, X drive. The matte black roof carrier system de-chromed around the windows or matte black again and then the plastic sill protector there I am um, I think it's a nice sweeping back from the key power open power close tailgate uh, plenty of room in the back got the hard rear load cover there um, Reversing sensors in the back there, the twin chrome tips. As I say, power close tailgate. It's a bit low for me to get in. Anyway, I, I've got my seat forward to where most normal people would drive. Uh, I've got plenty of room in the back. It's got uh, carpet mats, I think, and then it's got fitted rubber mats over the top. So it's been really, really well looked after. The last BMW we had in this color combination, uh, I can't remember whether this is called Coral or something. I, I always call it Coral anyway. And white uh, paintwork, the, the phone melted. It, it was just red hot. It's probably the uh, primary color to have, I suppose. Nice, nice and tidy in the back, very, very clean. We've got this rear center armrest and uh, a cup holder there, which doesn't, there you go. It's obviously never been used, it didn't work. <laughs> Another great Barry Crampton demonstration there. It works now, I fixed it for you. No need to thank me. Uh, it, it is, it's, it's, it's a beautiful car. If you like BMWs, you'd really like this car. Um, this kind of, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a shadow pattern um, on, the, on the dash, on, on the insets there, and on all the doors. The proper stitching, double stitch there. It's, it's I, I don't know what to say, it's, it's, it's a lovely car. Um, we've got airbags in the, the back here, airbags, airbags in the C pillar. We've got the uh, Isofix rear child seat anchor points and uh, two power sockets here for the little brats to recharge the PlayStations and uh, door, um, map pockets. Or, you know, I mean, you, um, every car you used to take in in the old days, there'd be, a, there'd be like an AA map book stuck in the back of there. I forgot to say it has soft closed doors as well so you just shut that like so it pulls them too it has to be the world's squeakiest leather in there but i'll just take you for a ride in it bmw keys there first thing air conditioning on full it's uh, 20 past eight in the morning here in the uk and it's uh, it says it's 15 degrees here, but it feels a lot hotter outside. Very, very unusual for the UK. Right, okay. The service history. 
23rd of the 4th, 2014 at 16,269 miles, Halliwell Jones BMW. Uh, 30th of the 3rd, 2015 at 31,422 miles, Halliwell Jones BMW. 21st of the 12th, 2015 at 37,083 miles, Teesside BMW. 4th of the 4th, 2016 at 39,301 miles, Teesside BMW. 19th of the 12th, 2016, at 44,334 miles, Teesside BMW. 16th of the 12th, 2019, at 65,671 miles, Teesside BMW. And we'll service it uh, again before it goes out. It's done 74,132 miles now. Uh, so we'll do it. It's ready for a service. We'll, we'll do it before it goes out. I am. Um, it's a beautiful day in the UK, and uh, I suppose if the worst comes to the worst and you have to go on holiday in the UK instead of going to Ibiza, <laughs> then uh, you can go to Murray Camby, which is just over there, and. Uh, at the moment where we are now we're just above the clouds which uh, it, before uh, I'll try and remember to put a photograph in because it looked even better before it was it's just white out there that be below us so uh, oh, <laughs> we've got a little little sheepy here so that's uh, more come up there and we're just in Lancaster at the moment you see there the cloud below the hills it's uh, it really is beautiful around here, um, and, and a lovely day <laughs> for my job, driving cars. It's the car, very sporty feel to it. It's uh, and it, and I've I've said it before. I I get the not ready for a a. a wallowy smooth Range Rover um, had kids too early feel like you've missed out and uh, still want a sports car but need room for the family this is ideal uh, having said that none of those things apply to me and uh, I'd, I'd get back in my Range Rover but it's a sporty drive it's well equipped I don't, I, I don't know whether it's a good looking car, I, I don't, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an imposing car, it looks massive from the outside, there's plenty of room inside, um, we've got the nice split front central armrest there, it's the air conditioning is icy cold, we've got memory seats, I'll just, let's just try and find the, I'd better, I'd better stop first, we'll do the memory seat Russian roulette because it's always I'll just pull over here it's all it's always interesting to see it is a it is a big car it feels like a when you look at it on a on a car park with everything else it looks it looks massive so we'll just uh, where's the knock that indicator off because that's annoying right so we've got memory one and so two position memory seats here so memory one electrically adjustable height and reach steering wheel so there they were pretty much in the same they, they drive in a worse position than me and position two oh well this looks like it's a it's a one owner well no it's a two owner car i think but it looks like it's a the last one is just a one driver car oh, best get going before this car comes towing the trailer it looks like you might be going faster than me. So we'll get the steering wheel back in a position for me. A bit lower. There we go. You've got the pull-out thigh support there at the front. So it's two-position electric memory seat. We've got it won't go in because of the speed, no doubt, but we've got power folding door mirrors when I slow down. 
I shouldn't have pulled out in front of this chap. He's he, he's <laughs> he's driving faster with a big trailer on than than I would normally with uh, in a sports car. That, that really gets on my nerves as well. If I had this car, I'd, I'd have to put a piece of tape over that. It's right in your, your vision all the time, changing and not distracting, but just a nuisance. Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, um, sat-nav. Nice, I've got to say that it's, it's well set out and uh, you know, we're, we're just a bit late look at certain death corner. <laughs> I was just, just about to meet this big tractor which you'd never get through. I'd have had to have reversed back up to here so that's, that was lucky. In fact, I'm surprised he managed to get through here. A site entrance as well. Here we go. This is where we'd this is where we'd have met him. <laughs> What's that? An old escort van. So you can see here this kind of it, it almost looks like it's not, but it looks like it's kind of laser etched. Feels nice and powerful. The uh, the big wheels, low profile tyres. And the suspension. You'll like it, trust me. I'm just too old and tired. There we go. Nice gearbox. You can knock that across there like so. And change up and change down manually or like so. Cars with suspension like this always make me want to drive too fast, and, and uh, this isn't the place for it. Again, you see the clouds. Reminds me of a place I went to uh, on the way to LA, and uh, it was like this, but totally beautiful. Got three switches on here. Whatever they're for, probably your electric gates and your <laughs> garage door and whatever. I only noticed them when I was on the, on the way up here, and I haven't looked. It's, just a, it's too too much to go wrong. The, the, and the funny thing. Obviously, with electrical equipment, I've just bought a new camera. A few weeks ago, I bought a new gimbal. Everything worked fine. I bought a new camera, and it, it wouldn't work at all. Uh, it wouldn't work with my phone. I, I couldn't see the uh, the picture through my um, camera on my phone screen to control it. And I thought there was something wrong. Well, I, I thought that I'd actually had a, a bit of an accident with a, the unit called a Raven Eye, and I thought I'd broken it. So I bought a new monitor, which was uh, 880 quid, to go with the, the 880 pound gimbal and uh, my new camera. And it still wouldn't work. Anyway, it turned out it was just a setting. And on the internet, 
there wasn't just me struggling with it, there's there hundreds and hundreds of people having the same problem. And I discovered how to, to get around it, what to do to make it work. So yesterday I was making a video to put on my channel about uh, how to fix this problem. And one of the cameras <laughs> didn't record. <laughs> so I was, making, I was making a video about a, a problem on a camera and I had another problem with the camera. And funnily enough, this, this one here dropped off the car last week, just up here, and I was doing 30 miles an hour. And, uh, and it, that works fine. The other one just decided not to work for, for no good reason whatsoever, apart from ruining my film. Anyway, back to the car. So we've got, uh, I'll just check that. It looks like we've got high pressure headlamp wash on the front if I squirt that I can't, well, I can't tell but sometimes they put uh, the same bumper on and they just at the back of the little flat there's just a spring holding it on and there's no high pressure headlamp wash unit so I'll reserve judgment on that I think it's got it but don't sue me if it hasn't and uh, any any other things. I'm just going to pull over and look at my crib sheet. This is, John tells me what's on them before I come out because he buys the vehicles, and I don't listen, <laughs> so I forget. It's it's nice on this road. I do always think that BMW suspension is, is too harsh and there's too much feel through the, the steering wheel, but but at one time I'd have, I'd have killed to get in it. Brakes are all good. Just going to pull over here in the shade so my cameras don't overheat as well. Right, what was I going to do? First of all, let's try these mirrors. Right, so power folding door mirrors, the crib sheet. That was hard work. So, uh, sun protection glazing, roof rails, TV function. All right, well, let's have a look at that. So, we'll go on to me. So, BMW professional radio with single CD player. It says metallic paintwork, so it might be uh, metallic white. The trouble is, these are quite hit and miss, really. Um, sometimes it's got like glaringly obvious things that are missing, like a you know, it'll say a pan roof when it hasn't got one, and we have to be very, very careful, but some of the stuff, you, you just can't tell. I know it's a good sound system, because I was listening to some records, and, and I've, been, I've been told not to say records, because apparently they're not, they're not records, it's only a record when it, it's on vinyl songs tunes whatever the whatever the word is that you've got to use these days and the, the the system's really good so there's a telephone i think that's nav there you go so it's wide widescreen nav as well and you should be able to i knock that over click on it there you go you can click to s split screen and have your nav over there and then whatever you want in the right hand side if I click on the right hand side it should tell me I think what I can have yeah there you go map north on orientated so on onboard computer journey computer entertainment details we'll put it on that so there you go send the TVs on channel 4 which we'll have to take their word for it's well set out you can see your indicators and your wiper stalk. 
unless you're going around a corner, you can't really see the cruise control. But if I just knock the end in, let's just see, and knock it forward like so, that's the cruise control on. And if I knock it forward again, it'll increase the speed slightly. And if I knock it back, it'll reduce it. So it's a brake and it's off. Knock it down or up and it goes off. So quite, quite easy to use. Headlights are on the right hand side there. Nice day for a trip down the cliff in a four-wheel drive. It's very, very funny why, why and how you always meet on a corner. You never meet on a long straight where you can see uh, from miles ahead. Um, I remember reading about a collision in Australia and there was only two cars within about 100 miles and the, they crashed into each other at a crossroads. And you can imagine, you know, you, you just you just would never expect somebody else to be coming, but that's what happens. Again, uh, two cars meet the very narrow, or the narrowest part of the, the road. Again, just stops where there's a big pole sticking out the ground on the other side. Busy today. I think I've seen that young lady a few times up here and she drives like Michelle Mouton. Also Beam Schmidt, RIP. Here we go, another one. We'll just pull over here, let him, uh, as long as he's not pulling in there. I don't think he planned on stopping anyway. <laughs> let us go. On days like this, I think uh, farming must be second only to driving around in flash cars, <laughs> videoing them. Oh, 
uh, one one thing to point out actually, and I'm, I better just check that because the early X6s, a lot of them were four seaters. Um, but this must be a five seater because there used to be a, he's going, uh, looks like he's going a bit too fast as well. But a gentleman all the same. Well, when, when we pull up now, I'll uh, I'll just make sure and have a look in the back. But it's a nice car inside and out. Nothing to report mechanical that I've certainly noticed. Um, we uh, we will service it. Should be ready to go. This is just as it came in. It's not been cleaned in any way, so it's been very, very well looked after. We've gone out and we've we've actually bought it. Um, and uh, you know, it's not coming part exchange. It's not something we've had no choice about. We've we've physically bought it for stock, which. Um, if you knew anything about us, should tell you it's a good car, because we wouldn't buy it if it wasn't. And here we are. Right, so let me just check. Put that in park. There, there's three inertia reel rear seat belts so um, it's a five-seater thanks for watching see you in the next video